Hey, good morning, y'all. Let's Anthony Mitchell. All right, so I put this on Facebook Live, bro. I'm going to do it now for everybody, but do people believe in you or do they talk down and look down upon you for you actually pursuing your goals and your dreams? The majority of people in this world, they gave up on their goals and their dreams a long time ago. They got comfortable or content trading their time for money and making somebody else's dreams a reality. Hey, that's, that's everyone's own non prerogative. If that's what you want to do, great. Me personally, I'm not where I want to be. I have home based businesses that I'm trying to build and grow. So, I can back off on how much time I have to spend trading my time for money to make money to pay the bills. But at the end of the day, I don't really care what anyone says or thinks. Because at the end of the day, I'm pursuing my dreams and goals. Hell, if it takes me 5, 10, 20 years, whatever. I'm not going to give up on pursuing my dreams. Most people in this world, they gave up a long time ago and they decided to work 40 years on a job they hate. They get that steady little paycheck, which they think is secure. And now, because of the pandemic, people are realizing that that's not really the best way to go. But hey, teach their own. Live and learn. But hey, most people, they gave up on their dreams. That's why they talk crap and look down upon you whenever you're struggling to make your dreams reality. Like I said, my home-based businesses are not making that much money yet. Yeah, I'm I'm making some money. I've made back my initial investment already, but there's way more money I can be making. There's way more families I can be helping, way more people I can be helping. But people don't really know me that well. So I got to get attention. I got to get people to know me. I got to get people to like me. I got to get people to trust me. I said the products and the services are awesome. They've gone through the scrutiny of um, court orders, lawsuits, and they've won. Um, that's for one of the platforms, one of the services. And then the, the actual products that I personally use myself and my family and loved ones use because they're awesome products within our one of my home based businesses. They've been around for a while now. There's a bunch of crap out of mine online, but at the same time, they've been around forever and they're very good. I personally use them because I like them. My parents use them because my mom uses them because she likes them. My fiance uses them because she likes them. Uh, a couple of my mother's friends use them because they like them. A couple of my friends use them because they like them. So that's a slow build, but whatever. Uh, I said my financial services. I use it. A few people I know use it. But at the end of the day, I'm not trying to go just push people on using the products or services. My goal is to help people realize their dreams by taking control of their lives by building home-based businesses. That way they can take back control of their lives. Most of y'all, like I said, you gave up on your dreams or your goals a long time ago because you got content or stagnant and you got comfortable getting your paycheck every week or every two weeks or whatever. But hey, whatever. That's more power to you. If you're paying your bills on time and you have a nice little investment portfolio build up, awesome. But most, most people, they get paid, they spend all that money, they don't invest in it, they don't have anything to set aside, they don't have an emergency fund, they don't have an investment portfolio, they don't have no retirement account, which. Like I said, that's why I do what I do. Why I'm in the pursuit of building my business. My excess profit goes into my investment portfolios, my emergency funds, my retirement accounts. Why? Because I don't want to have to spend my whole life working for money like the majority of people in this world do. Like I said, most people want to go through life Spending 40 years on a job base, they can retire one day with a uh, pension or a thing in the past, but they can retire one day, they go enjoy their life, and hopefully live off the money they saved up their whole lives. Alright, take how much money you make, and just multiply that by a year. You make over a million dollars in your lifetime. 
how much of that money do you have left over though? That's where most people screw up. They, like, everybody wants to make a crap load of money. But it's not how much money you make, y'all. It's how much money you keep. Like I said, all my money just diversified into investments, retirement, emergency, whatever. Or debt pay down. If you want a simple way to make wealth, spend less money than you make. Then you always have money to spend. And like, uh, I think it was Kevin Hart that had a great idea for money. When you get paid, take half that money and set it aside. Don't touch it. The other half, use the other half to spend on your necessities, your investments, all that kind of stuff. But let the other, the first half, build up to make a big investment in the long term. To whatever you need. It makes sense. It's smart. Stop spit. You make you get a raise. You don't have to go buy a new house. You don't have to go buy a new car. You get a new job. You don't have to go buy something luxurious. I did that. I've had the Infinities. I've had the Cadillacs. I had to have the bigger apartment on a canal, which I have no idea why, because I didn't have a, a boat. But oh well. But in the day, y'all. Accumulate assets. Stop accumulating liabilities. And don't ever give up on your dreams. If you got some inspiration on what I just said or whatever, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll continually put out tidbits. So y'all have a great day. I gotta go get some water. And I think my mom left the garage door open so I gotta shut it for her. So y'all have a good one. Talk to you later.